We I, have right now on the phone Stan from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Stan, are you still there? Yes. All right, Stan, let me I, I want to finish that scenario real quick by saying this. What we're talking about here and what the Holy Father was getting at is you can have a situation where I'm using the example of the woman who finds herself in, in an irregular situation. She's in this marriage, and she has children that are dependent upon the breadwinner, which is the father. And if, in fact, she ceases from conjugal relations, he's going to be out of there. Her children could literally be out in the streets. She's living in the middle of Brazil somewhere. She's living in the middle of Brazil somewhere. She's living in the middle of Brazil somewhere. And so, you know, while no doubt she could, you know, heroically say, you know what, no matter what he does, this is what I'm going to do. And, and, and praise God for that. <laughs> no, but seriously, Brian, you're doing a wonderful job. <laughs> what the Pope is saying is that there is a fear factor here that can mitigate her culpability to where what is objectively grave sin becomes ve a venial sin. Yeah, that's it, dig it. For Pope St. John Paul the Great in Familiaris Consortio, the state, being in that state means you cannot receive sacraments, period. But that is not a doctrinal statement. That is a matter of prudence. Even if a pastor in the internal form discerns that this person is not actually committing mortal sin, the mitigating fa you know, there are mitigating factors that reduces the culpability, Pope St. John Paul would say, no, you still can't receive sacraments in the Church. But again, that's a matter of prudence. What Pope Francis is saying and, and theologically, he is correct. On the objective level, it is possible, and a pastor can discern this woman, in this case, is not in mortal sin. So from a theological pers perspective, she could be admitted to the sacraments, even in that irregular situation. And that's what Pope Francis is talking about when he says the sacraments are not for the perfect. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs>